Let's have an update on the house, shall we? Okay, if anybody remembers from my first video, I showed you how overgrown the backyard is. And you can see it is still kind of overgrown right here. But let me get back a little bit and I will show you what Matt has done. He's cleared out. There was a um, wood fence right there and he's cleared out all of that and all this like dirt area had nothing but brush and junk. As a matter of fact, here's the pile of junk that was in the backyard that he now has to get rid of. But you know, he is clearing it out. So that is going really well. As a matter of fact, all of this area that is now dirt that you see right here, all of this, I'm sorry, the wind kicked up, so it might be hard to hear. All of this was nothing but like a jungle out here. All of this, all of this here that you see that's dirt was weeds and brush and it was so thick. But now it's kind of at least getting to a point. Like I said, there's still quite a lot of overgrowth up in this area that he's got to get to, but it, um, he has cleared out a bunch of stuff. So this is our little water pump shed and it was hard to get to it and to get to the door without a having to step over so much brush and get my legs all torn up from <laughs> weeds and everything else. So he's done a really good job of clearing that out. So that's one update. So another update is we are getting the roof redone. So right now there are a bunch of shingles all over the place and um, it's halfway um, taken off. So here's a bunch more pile of shingles, but we'll have the group of guys coming and getting the rest of the shingles off the roof and um, continuing to work on that and replacing it. I don't know if you can see, but it's just the wood up there. There's a wheelbarrow up there too right now. Um, so they actually ended up saying the roof was so bad that they're going to have to take the decking off as well and replace all the decking before we can even put new shingles on. So yeah, there's that, but at least it's gonna be a good roof and it's an improvement. So my drip pans for the stove top came in today. So that is officially set. Now I can use my stove top or my oven and I am no longer relegated to cooking only in my electric skillet, which I will say has come in very handy and has been easier to work with than I would have maybe expected, but I don't have to only use that now. I can use this if I would like to. Sometimes it's the little things, you know? The dogs got new toys when we went to the store today, so let's see what they think if they like them. Ooh, is that a new toy? Dixie is smelling that one. Got a fox. Oh, man. Bones? You want a bone, Sophie? You each got one? Look. I hope they don't fight over them. Really, guys? That's all that you're not super excited? I thought you were going to be so overjoyed. Sophie yeah, Sophie off. took the bone and is like, I'm coming over here with this and we're going to spend some time together. But these guys. Oh no, Sophie left that one now, too. Look at all your new toys. What do you think, guys? We got you new toys. Okay, so while this looks like progress and feels like progress in a way because I did get the table where I think I want it anyway, um, of course there's still a bunch of junk piled up on it, but also it, I didn't really unpack any boxes to move the table there. I just shoved the boxes around in other places. So I'm not really sure, <laughs> look, look at this room. I'm not really sure if it can be called progress because in reality, the boxes just got shoved elsewhere, you know? I don't know. I feel like one of those puzzle games where you have to like, like move all the pieces in order to get one certain piece out or you know what I'm talking about or like one of those puzzles 
to make the picture, you have to move everything around. And at first it seems like all messed up, but you eventually get it to make the beautiful picture. It's kind of what my house is feeling like right now. But anyway, so this is how it's set up so far, I think. So we'll see. This room, which we are going to be making into our walk-in closet, I did get some boxes unpacked from and stuff put away in the dressers and hanging in that closet that we have for right now. Um, and my mom got me this like portable clothes rack thing to hang stuff on, which right now I just kind of had washed clothes and threw a bunch of stuff that was clean over the top of it. But eventually we are going to make this room into a really nice walk-in closet with like rods all along there and stuff. And yeah, I'm not so sure, but but it did get some progress because some of the boxes did get unpacked from here. So little by little, we are making progress, believe it or not. I am at a loss for what to do with my granny's china. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because it's very, of course, special to me, but it's so pretty. And I wish I could display it, but I'm scared because obviously I don't want it to break and I really don't have a lot of room to display things or a big, beautiful, nice display case in here. So I don't know what to do with it. I mean, like I thought about putting it on that rolling cart, but one, there's probably too many pieces. And like I said, I'm not so sure that that would be a safe option. And I honestly don't even really have room in cabinets. I'm, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna fit all my stuff that I have in these cabinets anyway. And some of this stuff isn't necessarily gonna stay right there like that, but um, you know, just kind of threw stuff in places. But I don't know if anybody has any suggestions for what to do with Granny's China, let me know, comment, tell me what I should do. Our coffee bar is not complete yet. It's not completely set up, but hey, at least we have one. Hey, some things are important, right? Like you have to have a place to set up coffee. So there is that, which I think is gonna be really cool once it gets set up how it needs to be. Guys, guys, like look, I honestly don't even know what to do with like these things. This travel mug, it's not gonna fit anywhere. Like my cabinet spaces, are not even tall enough. Okay, maybe that top one can fit in. But also look like, I knew this was gonna happen with the syrup to lay it down like that, but I didn't know what to do with it because it literally doesn't fit anywhere, even not even in the top cabinet. So what do I do with this stuff? I don't know what to do, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, I am a hot mess. Look at my hair from moving all this stuff around. But anyway, I wanna know like, how do people function without a pantry? I, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these canned goods or with all like this stuff and there's just not enough cabinet space. What do I do? Well, I think it's safe to say that the bones were a hit, yeah? She has one under her paw and she's chewing on the other one. And a rope. Like, are you hawking the toys, Dixie? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the boxes, it's just like a giant, never ending game of Tetris or something. <laughs> never ending. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I just came out and look, he's done even more. Look how much stuff he's taken out right here. This is what I just showed you a while ago and it was all nothing but weeds. Man, he's doing a good job. So I guess that's really all for this time, guys. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. I gotta carry you over my shoulder. No! <laughs> no, okay. Baba, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what'd you catch out there? Well, you know, I got some fish. I think it's the back of the pickup. <laughs> we're gonna fall! <laughs> it's on the <laughs> <laughs> That was us, Jaden! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>